There Guten we Tag. There Welcome we to this episode of Press Start TV. We've got so much to go over with you today. We're going to be talking about a little bit about uh, The Division, some Cliffy B news, uh, some Activision news, Final Fantasy, Bayonetta, Smash Bros. And we do have a segment for the best female video game character of all time, in our opinions. Uh, my name is Will. This is James. Hi, Al. This is Nine. Yo. Guys, let's <coughs> talk stuff. Video games. Video game stuff. Et cetera. So Cliffy B, um, you know him, you love him. Cliffy B, for those of you who don't know, is a very popular and uh, well-respected developer in the, the video game. The first developer to look like he could possibly have a place in a boy band. Sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, good looking guy. But uh, he, uh, Gears of War, some of his game is just amazing. Gears so of War, Unreal. He, he's currently in development of a game right now, and but he came out and made a statement saying that um, the campaign in a first-person shooter takes up 75% of a game's budget. Bull. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of with I, you on I, I that. Can't, I, I don't understand how it would take that much. That's, you get games like Call of Duty, which have zombies and multiplayer and um, the, the campaign. Like there's no one. way that Call and of Duty there's no Black way Ops that the Call of Duty campaign yeah. took 75% of that budget. Yeah. There's not a chance. Well, then they had to do Nightmare campaign right. and then zombies. I mean, it just and doesn't make any multiplayer. sense. Now, my, my whole thing, I, I guess, with this was is you know, a game has to figure out what it's going to be. So if you take a game like Bioshock, and it, you know, you're not going to get the multiplayer experience, you're just going to get the great story. They even right? tried multiplayer and it was bad. It was bad. Yeah. But, but you know, that. you buy Bioshock for the amazing story, and we all know at the end of the third one, it just, it's just... Well, wow. both games have a mind-blowing revelation in it. But Call of Duty, you know, you know what you're getting yeah, with Call of Duty. You, you, you're you expecting me? multiplayer, you're expecting the campaign, you're expecting uh, zombies uh, these days, but you know... Um, I, games like Titanfall that tried a little too hard to do the... 75% the of their budget would have done them a lot of good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it would have created something, but... They would have had about 75% more income. I think, you know, it was confused Probably. about, like, what it was going to be. Titanfall with a campaign? Sign me up. I mean, that would have been I awesome. Think, I bet the next one will have a campaign. I mean, the but gameplay was better. great, and I did read an article where they said the next one's shaping up to look amazing, so I'm hopeful. They said that about the first one. Yeah. And look where it landed. It did look amazing. I mean, it's, but... Yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah. don't, get, don't get it wrong. Looks great. <laughs> yeah. Fell flat. Yeah. I just don't buy into the 75% of the budget. There's got, he's There's got to no be way. misinterpreting something. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like maybe one paying the writer and what the majority of everybody is playing. What about, like, Fallout? I mean that that's is all the, the Witcher. yeah it's hundred percent campaign the Witcher yeah. Yeah. Final campaign. Fantasy yeah. you know what I mean so it's like I mean th this number is very far skewed but games like you. Halo um, you know uh, that have the campaign and the multiplayer that you players want both right yeah yeah I feel like it's always necessary like I actually kind of thought it could work and then Titanfall happened I mean, and so many games are happening right now where. You I certainly agree that it takes a good bit of your Battlefront, one of your campaign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because you're you're going to pay for more departments. You got a writing department. You've got an actual like animation department queuing all these people up. I can see where it's going to take more, but seventy five percent, three fourths of a budget. Yeah, I don't, no, I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't, I don't that's a little it. excessive. I believe half. <laughs> half of that. Half no, of what he's saying. Half of half, like fifty percent right. of the budget. Yeah. You know. By the way, you're watching Lisa and Press Start TV. I'm Will. This is James. This is Nine. Yep. Uh, Activision is rumored to be developing a new Ghostbusters game uh, to coincide, probably more than likely, yes. with the movie. Who are you gonna call? Activision. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna call these Ghostbusters yet. Yeah. The Ecto One does not look good. <laughs> it, it better <laughs> be good. Proton packs do not look the best. A beloved series, man. I hope they get it right. If, yeah. If hopefully they don't bad, cross the If this screens. movie is bad, I'm going to be extremely upset. Yeah. There's so many one-liners I want to say right now. Yeah. <laughs> just, oh, I know. Yeah. I know. I, we could go on for days. Just quote. We could quote the entire movie. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, if this movie is bad, it's going to be very, very. Very disappointing. Yeah, I, because I'm again, huge just keep your fan. minds blank. It's like blank. it's like the Star Wars. Ray, what it, did you do? Thing. It kind of it almost suffers that because I wouldn't say maybe that scale, but as a Star Wars fan, you want the best representation you of want the Star beloved Wars. franchise yeah. that you know and love. You want. I Star think they were afraid to tackle that honestly. So like, write a good story, just yeah. making it all look right and like using all these set pieces. Are you talking about stuff. Ghostbusters? Uh, I was talking about like uh, like Battlefront, like as a comparison. No, I meant the, the, the movie. Oh, the, okay. the movie Star Wars. Because if they, uh, I mean, you have everybody, there's so many fans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
You want your character? Oh, yeah. You want your iconic character? Iconic characters to iconic. be rep <laughs> iconic. We need a casting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so that's rumored to be happening. Hopefully, they do a good job with it. I Hopefully, like the movie's the awesome. Came out. What's that? I hope it's like the one that came out on PS3. That yeah. was good. That was a good game. I like that. It was a solid, solid game. And they were actually touting that one to be the third Ghostbusters. Yeah, I remember there was that. There rumors, yeah. 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 Um, so The Division uh, had a little bit of a hiccup with the PS4 beta. I wouldn't say a little bit. Some of you are probably shaking your fists <coughs> in anger right now <coughs> as you're listening to this. <laughs> Uh, I shook my fist for two days straight. <laughs> Ubisoft's kind of dropped the ball for the PS4 owners, saying that they weren't inspecting so many people to uh, get on with this. I mean, um, by the way, uh, in another... Which again is bull, I feel. Uh, we'll come back to The Division in just a second. Another quick informational thing. It's Sure. E one of, somebody from EA possibly leaked room, a rumor ah. of sell-throughs mm. um, yeah, of the consoles. Yeah, the Leaked some sell through numbers. Um, and he has pinned <laughs> Xbox One sales to be around 19 million. Mm -hmm. Which is a good solid number. I mean, that, that's a lot of consoles. Yeah. It is. But not as much as the other guy. <laughs> Sony at 36 million. Which I can kind of actually get on board with because around Christmas time, Sony said they had a sell through of 33 million. And you so know what I, I chalk that back, up to? Yeah, I kind of believe this statement. <laughs> I, I chalk the, the whole thing up to the, the launch the launch botch thing. The Don, yeah. the Don Matrick. That whole yeah, thing. <laughs> and they completely recalled themselves and had to backfill oh, it. They it had was just to, ugly. They made a lot of people look really dumb that day. All right, well. So they lost me right off the bat because, I mean, 360 had me. I was on for 360, yeah. and that's a kid who grew up well, with that, PS1 Well, that ties me into the, the division thing. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about that right when we get back. Hey there, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> uh, we were talking about the division when we last left you, so now we're back. And, and again, we also mentioned it was a potential rumor from an EA uh, representative uh, claiming Xbox One has sold through 19 million and the Sony PS4 through 36 million. Um, so strong. this whole thing with the division makes a little sense because if you got that much larger of an install base maybe they just weren't expecting but they know how many pre-order codes went out well this is one of the okay like, so they, they should have known that they were expecting this many people this is one of the first times we've seen xbox win an exclusive in a while because for a long time it's been ps4 everything oh, star yeah. wars this that and the other um but I agree with you on, on that respect. I feel like it's almost like a Nintendo-like operation where they try to create like a supply and demand by being like, oh, you can't get in. Because that makes you want to get then in. Don't send me an email that yeah. says I'm guaranteed yeah. access. The and, word guarantee and that word. is a... It's it's a binding contract at that point. So we had our beta codes and everything. I'm definitely amongst the fish shakers because we entered our beta codes around the same time, <laughs> and uh, I got mine later that evening. Yeah, the yeah, it was like it was the next day at 9 a.m. They sent out the next batch of codes because they oh, just cleared up some space nice. magically, you know, for more people to let oh, in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and then so. I didn't get mine, and, and I sat around hopeful the whole day. Um, so then we found out, you know, the next point is that it got extended. Yeah. I got excited, but I was like, extended, yay, maybe I have Still a chance. Have code, yay, so I was like, all right, I'll contact Ubisoft at this point. And um, not well, the best experience for me there either. Well, uh, you know, one thing we talked about is they had to have known you that. Knew. They're, they're the most hyped game of they, Q1, They're one of the most much. hyped games right? yeah. that are coming out, so it's not like you know people aren't going to get behind all this, these but. companies keep track of pre-order numbers, so they have bragging rights. I thought about it on the ride over. Like, There's no way they didn't know this is anticipated, because I went on... Because uh, EA came out and said e Battlefront was their most pre-ordered game in history. I went on my wife's uh, I mean, Kindle earlier really? today, yeah. and there's like a division they mini video. They know these numbers. They you know? know what kind of data they're getting from retailers. That's yeah. pretty special. Well, that's, yeah. pretty, I mean, that's crazy. Th yeah. It's absurd to think that they don't keep track of this. They knew what to expect. So for them to say they weren't, uh, I don't know. But uh, so we'll <laughs> forgive you. They extended the beta for an extra day. Well, um, it makes me worry what the launch day is going to be like. Okay, well, sure, that's a good point. I mean, because if they weren't prepared for, and that's what a lot of people a on Twitter and everything users. were saying. If this is happening here like this, what yeah. am I? Got, what's the finished? Pro is it going to be ready? Because yeah. is it going to be glitchy? Is your server going to be able to handle all of us when we right. show up? Is it going to be everybody that's actually going to play <laughs> yeah. the game? So, um, so with that being said, you guys, uh, we, we played the beta. Um, first impressions. Destiny. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's just Sign me up. like <laughs> Destiny with winter clothes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Basically, yeah. With snow much. levels. Yeah. Um, snow level. it, it's got a very Destiny MMO feel to it. Like well, you're it, running around the, the world and there's, there's little encounters which are just like the patrol missions on the different planets in Destiny. So I like that concept because it, it goes for like you're in a living, breathing space, right? Yes. Yeah. So kind I, of. I saw the biggest divide, I heard someone mention that, I thought that sounded pretty good, was uh, the biggest difference between, or I'd say like where the similarity stops is like, you know, in, in Destiny, when you're wandering around and everything, you have a chance to encounter other people in the wild. And that was really cool, yeah. all quests in the same yeah. area. Division brings out the, co the tactic of though, oh, there's other people there. I can kill them and take their stuff. Like only in the dark zone. Only in the dark zone. If you're yeah. not in the dark zone, you're it's by just yourself PVE. or your your group of people that you're partied up right. with. So unless you're in the dark zone, you don't see everybody except the people in your party. Oof, man, that's gonna that's gonna be some. And they and then, split dark zone level with the PVE level. So your regular exploring with your group stuff. Can wander goes one to thirty. So for, for those of you who don't know the game just yet, there's a dark zone where much different things can happen, and then an ordinary it's zone where yeah, kinda, it's basically like you know, it's basically it's PvP its territory. Missions, and well, its own when I when you when you were playing, I called it a uh, World of New York craft. Yeah, basically, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like you wander up, you're in a PvP area now. So then, by the way, you're watching, listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. So it's kind of like a RPG. It's definitely an RPG. And You've got a level first system. person shooter. I'd say it's an RPG first and a shooter second, pretty much, from yeah. the way you look at it. RPG especially, first. Especially, especially when you look at the hitboxes. Because I saw you mowing down some people and it was just like well, right in his chest. Well, and then finally they went down. It, it's got a very good, <laughs> in its defense, it's got a very good combat system. Yeah. Because each limb and body part takes a different amount of damage based on the type of weapon you're using. Yeah. So obviously the head takes the most damage because mm -hmm. you're shooting bullets at it. Mm -hmm. But your limbs and your torso you will say, take obviously. your limbs and torso will take different <laughs> amounts from each other because your arm is probably more sensitive to being torn apart versus mm -hmm. your chest, which is a bit beefier and padded. And, pro yeah, yeah, probably and broader. Support, so right, like, I was hitting people in the arms and it was doing like 298 damage. And I, was I wonder if the chest was doing changes, like 185. Like a PVP so aspect, does it got, change if like I have like really good armor on my it, arms? I, I my believe chest? the armor will influence the PVP and that's it. Yeah. I'm gonna make my legs my weak point. No one so. would go for it. Yeah. Well, um, but once again, a couple words overall first impression. Destiny, like it's destiny with a modern day twist. Is that a good thing? Not for me. Not for you, huh? Because it feels like it's going to be lacking on content, and Ubisoft has a bad track record with DLC and expansions. Ooh, so we'll see what happens there. Yeah, James, how about you? I'm excited uh, to see what it's like when it actually comes out. I'm excited to see what in-game actually holds. If it holds nothing, then then that's what the game has to offer me. Uh, but if it has yeah. some cool stuff and it has like some raid content or something, some stuff that makes it like awesome some to bigger get missions together, where you, yeah. I love MMOs. You know, and it's not like a real MMO, it's an instance MMO, but either way, I love playing with friends. I love meeting new people and like getting these organic groups together. Right. And it's also gonna be exciting having people being able to turn on you. You know, yeah. Yeah. you're gonna that, find that's, out who your That's are. gonna be, yeah, exactly. Make that's gonna mad, make some people yeah. mad. Yeah. Uh, just a couple other quick things. Everyone walk in um, front of me at all times. There's a release, there's a announcement uh, of Final Fantasy 15, the release date will be released on March 30th. <laughs> so once again, the release date of Final Fantasy 15 will be released on March 30th. So there you go. Look out for that. And Bayonetta and Corin um, will be joining the Smash Brothers lineup on joined. February 3rd. I have already joined. Sorry. We'll have our best video game female character of all time, in our opinions, when we get back. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we were just talking about some Division news. Uh, just a very hyped game. Can't wait to see what happens with that, so hopefully it's awesome. Um, now, let's get into, Fingers crossed. in our opinion, um, our favorite female video game character of all time. So let's start off by saying that um, there's quite a few. Yeah, there, there's. Well, it, it's hard it, for me to nail it down. It used to. It, obviously, it just wasn't a primary thing because gamers were maybe meant for 
boys or uh, whatever. For back the longest the, time, for a while, it was a very broad difference between men and women playing video, video that's, games. That's, yeah. that's what I meant. You know, so most, it was like 98% yeah, guys so, playing like video that. games. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, it's I think 40, 44%. It's almost split yeah. down the middle. Um, it, it's which is amazing. But great, yeah. I just love the fact that over the years, your primary character, protagonist, a lot of them are, are women, and just phenomenal characters, phenomenal storylines, amazing games. So this is actually much more difficult um, because yeah. there's so many good ones. Right? I mean, if you were to nominate Lara Croft from then and Lara Croft from now, completely two different characters. Oh, two totally different yeah. characters. And <laughs> one was just like boobs and one-liners, and the new one is like tons of substance sure, and yeah. completely tortured. Yeah, yeah she, she does get beat up a lot. What does she deserve? Yeah, you know, and a lot of more, games chose to do that. She looks more like a real person. Mortal Kombat, they chose to do that right before this release and everything, and, and people like lauded them for it. Who was it? Was it Dead or Alive? Somebody, somebody spoke up and was like, just so you guys know, our boobs are going to be giants still. Yeah, yeah I sure. can't Dead remember. Or alive. Yeah, Dead or Alive. Yeah, that's because what I'm you know, that's what they're going for. But yeah. Anyway, the, the characters themselves. I mean, I, in my opinion, you, you start off with one of the most iconic reveals of all time. What am I doing? I, I keep saying that. Iconic. 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 Reveals of all time. Talking about Samus? Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. just... Samus is a girl? <laughs> yeah. What? Man. So I'm awesome. That's a good call. That, that was just that legendary. That blew my mind. Yeah. Like, I was not expecting that Even in 8-bit graphics, it was just like... You're what? just like... Huh? Why is wow. Fabio in <laughs> Metroid? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so let's throw out some potential nominees. Jill Valentine? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I think <laughs> that one, man. Lara Croft's got to be in there as well. Lara Croft. Uh, Reboot Lara Croft. Tifa. I like Tifa. Tifa's oh, a solid female character. Uh, Taylor, if you're watching, uh, he, that, that is his all-time favorite okay. character ever. <laughs> there you go, Dickle. So, Nailed it. Uh, <laughs> so... Yeah, the, sure. Absolutely. I saw someone like list that as like a Final Fantasy meme. It was like because you can name your own characters, and it's, yeah. it's like got cloud, and it says your name. And then uh, Barrett was like your older brother, and then Tifa was like that girl you always had a crush on. Yeah. And that's exactly what it was for mine, except. I think Barrett had a dirty name, and it was great. <laughs> um, any Claire other ones? Redfield. Claire Redfield. Mm -hmm. Resident um, Evil as well. Resident Evil's got some strong Resident chicks. Resident Evil's got some pretty strong chicks, yeah. yeah. Um, um, I like Sheva. Sheva. Yeah. Thank Sheva you. backspin kicked her way right into my Sheva heart. Sheva was awesome. Oh, I had such a crush on her. I'm not um, even going to lie. But the chick from Heavenly Sword. Yeah, I, I was gonna her put her on there. I could, I can't remember her name because I only played it once. Blankety blank, my oh, hair. Chick from Heavenly Sword for sure. I was uh, definitely gonna put her on there. I'm glad you brought her up. And uh, um, he played Transistor. Female assassin that was awesome. from Assassin's Creed Liberty, Liberation, or whatever it was called. Yeah, PS okay. Vita. I don't, I'm not sure, but okay, we'll put her on the table. Um, um, there's more. Fem Cortana. Fem Shep. Cortana. Yeah, Fem Shep. Cortana, man, that's Cortana. a strong one. Yeah, I love Cortana. Fim so Shep, strong though. that she has her own app on Windows computers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> same voice and everything. Uh, Siri, I like Siri. Siri, what's your three? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, even Jennifer. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Both of them, or Trish. I like when Conan O'Brien. I like when Conan O'Brien. They were doing that play. There. He was just like, <laughs> this he was, he was, he's like, this is this is a tie-in. Obviously, oh, it's just a coincidence. Her name is Siri. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, I would put Chun Li on there. Chun Li. Oh yeah. Tammy. There, no stronger thigh, thighs on a protagonist. No, anywhere. no, she's, no. she's got yeah. that covered. She's yeah, definitely, definitely the high kick queen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sonya Blade, you know, tries, but um, they're, 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 that's a solid list. Yeah, I, I have to either go with Katana or Sonya Blade. Samus is on there for sure. Samus yeah. is on there. Because Mortal Kombat was one of the first games I played as a kid that really like had a, a lot of female characters too. Right. And I know many of you are yelling at us right now, saying. You should list this person, this person, but we can't think of ever, all of them. But this is We're just off the top of your head. <laughs> we literally just like did this on the spot. And you were listening and watching Press Start TV. I'm Will. This is Nine. This is yep. James. Um, okay, so let's get down to it. Uh, James, I'll kind of throw it over to you. If you had to pick one as of today, we can come back to this uh, once we get a full list together. But this is off the top of our heads right now. So if you had to pick right now today, who would you give the nod to? Uh, I'm such a sucker for nostalgia that I have to go with Tifa. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like like with Aerith and everything, I was just like, I don't care about you. <laughs> Sephiroth yeah. killed you, whatever. Sorry, spoiler alert, guys. Whoa. Spoiler for those Whoa. who haven't played. <laughs> about, about I think years that's a great choice. Yeah. That's yeah. a very yeah. good choice. Yeah. She's yeah. awesome, man. Could Tifa. So, for Cloud. so that's, that's your pick for best female video game character of all time as of right now? Yeah, totally. I'm, I'm going to go what nostalgic about as Sheva? well. What about Sheva's, my, Sheva's my runner, the, runner up. The Horizon. Zero 
Don't, well, we don't know. We her don't name. know much about her. We don't know much about her yet. She might not be cool. tender. She might not be very good. We oh don't know. man! Um, but I'm going to go nostalgic well as well and go Jill Valentine. Yeah. Um, the first time I played Resident Evil, I, I was just drawn to her character versus Chris Redfield because it's the first time I'd ever seen like a true female lead aside. Yeah the spoiler with Samus. Yeah. So my first one was uh, for Resident Evil was actually Claire and Leon. Yeah, Claire so, and Leon's yeah. good. Claire was good too. But Jill has transcended very well, especially with, their, wins. with the DLC stuff in <laughs> Resident Evil 5 was awesome. Yeah. So the whole thing with Jill Valentine's awesome in my opinion. Yeah. You, She's been through like hell and back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shooting that thing off her chest was like, intense. <laughs> Smash that button. I'm going to uh, go Princess Peach. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that's a that's solid. Yeah, yeah, it really is. You know, <laughs> the first James in distress. A painful person to rescue. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's, she's, she's like the OG damsel in distress. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's that is true. true. Uh, um, gosh, best female. Thirty seconds. <laughs> I would say uh, I'm gonna go Chun Li. I've got a Chun Li uh, give her yeah. not because she was in that fighting game. She held her own and <laughs> that fighting game. I don't remember is. the name of it. Street Fighter. <laughs> everybody knows who she is. Yeah, everybody yeah. knows who she is. Yeah. You recognize her. Oh, I'm glad that you pitched it because I, yeah. I wouldn't have thought of it, but it's totally good. By the way, you can check us out on PressStartTV.com. That's all the time we have for you today. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you as always for joining us. See ya. Bye. Yay.